Okay, here's a solution for fixing a broken mud flap holder bolt uh, that's underneath here. You see the back of the Tesla Model Y, and that bolt is gone because I already ever moved it. But sometimes that bolt right there can break when you're trying to install rear mud flaps. It's very common because it has a very weak weld point. So, as you can see here, these two body bolts uh, or pins are out so we can just take a screwdriver here and just kind of work that lining away just a little bit just enough to get your kind of finger in there and you can pull this out don't be too shy about it okay okay with that pulled back now you can see we have real easy access to where that bolt was coming up. And let's see, shine a light in there. Yep. So right in there is where that bolt comes up and sitting right on top of that bolt is a little round nut like this, this was it. And so they just put a really small contact uh, weld point there and it is really, breaks really easy when you're trying to loosen or tighten that bolt. Um, to get that out, I used a pair of 15 inch vice grips and I essentially like worked these in here, got a good clamp on that um, round nut and then from underneath loosened the bolt. It took quite a bit of effort um, to get the vice grips positioned on there just right. It took a lot of different, a lot of tries, but I eventually got it. Um, just stay with it and you can work that out. And so then once the bolt is out and the nut, we're gonna replace it with this uh, clip here. This is a uh, one quarter 20 uh, U-nut. And we'll clip that in. And then we have a one quarter 20 body bolt. And so we'll thread that up through and it'll be good as new. All right, now we can see that we have the U-nut clip in there. And that's nice and tight. Took a little bit of finagling, had to kind of use the vice grips again just to, after I pinched it on, to kind of put on the flat surface there and hit with a hammer just to drive it all the way in. Um, so you can see that it's clipped and it's really snug there. And so now our bolt will be able to thread right in from the bottom.